everybody, it's Laura. Um, happy sweetest day. It's October 17th, 2009. Um, I'm coming in to let you guys know how I'm doing on day four of my liquid diet. Today was a little bit of a challenge. I have been off for the past two days and this is my weekend to work. So today getting up at six o'clock in the morning was one challenge of uh, was one challenge because I'm getting up so early. <laughs> but for two, um, I had to work from seven. I worked seven to three, and by not having any food for the past couple of days, just being on liquids, my energy level throughout the day at work was not well. Um, it started to go down throughout the day. I want to say by. 12, 1, I was just, I was done for it. I had the worst headache possible. But this morning, what I had to drink was, I had an instant carnation breakfast, um, sugar-free, the chocolate, which was fairly well on the way to work. And during the morning, throughout the morning, I was chewing on sugar-free, um, what flavor was that? Watermelon. Sugar-free watermelon gum, which was pretty cool. Um, I've always been like a sugar-free person when it came to gum. It's like almost all of them nowadays are sugar-free. And around 12 o'clock, I had a diet cran raspberry snapple, which was cool. But by the time 3 o'clock rolled around, I was so ready to leave. I was like running to the car. My head was pounding. I came home. I straight, I crashed. I mean, I changed into my work clothes. I changed out of my work clothes into my lounge clothes. And I just, I got in bed and I'm just now waking up. And it's maybe like a quarter after eight. Um, but I was just coming on here to let you guys know how I was doing. So I'm a few days away from my surgery. My surgery is taking place this coming Wednesday, October 21st. Um, excited but nervous. Um, I guess as the days get closer, I guess my excitement is going to turn more into nervousness because I get, I, I have the worst nerves. <laughs> when it comes to a young person, my mom always told me, she was like, you're only 24, you act like you're about 50 when it comes to your nerves. I get so nervous, but I know I'm going to have to calm myself down a day of surgery. But I am, I mean, it, who wouldn't be surge be worried about, you know, going under the knife basically. But I know everything's gonna be okay. I know God's gonna be watching over me and I I completely trust my doctor, so I'm okay. I know I'll be okay. But I was just coming to check in with you guys. I'm gonna make another video on Tuesday night so I can let you know how I'm doing the day before surgery and also how me, I have to go tell my dad that I'm having surgery, so I'll let you guys know how that conversation works out. <laughs> and, um, that's about it. I'm going to come back on on Tuesday and do another video and let you guys know how I'm doing and everything. And also, Tuesday, I have to go and get my, um, piercings changed over. I have body piercings in a few places, and for surgery, which I didn't know that you have to change them because you can risk being burnt if you have to have the cauterizing done and everything. Something with electrical charge can go to the metal during the process and burn that area. So I'm going to the guy that does all my piercings, going to my piercer, and he's going to change them over to for me to the acrylic or the plastic ones just for the surgery. Then I'll go back in a few days and have them put you know, put my jewelry back in for me. So that's no problem. I'm glad I found that out so I wouldn't have to risk having anything closed up or having them take out my piercings and I didn't even know about it because I would be very upset about that because some of them, they were too painful to ever go through again. <laughs> but um, I was just coming on here to let you guys know how I'm doing and I have started to make some friends on here and everything which I love. I want to be able to get as much feedback from everybody, tips, 
So please um, continue to look at the videos and to give me back your give me your feedback and let me know what I may what I you know what I should you what I should do what you should, you know suggest me to do. I'm so open for suggestions. So please just let me know. Um, and thank you for all the support, all the support to come. And I will see you guys on Tuesday night. And once again, happy Sweetest Day. Bye.